Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Breath of Fire 3 walkthrough. Alright, so uh, we are in the plant, right? Yeah, this is the plant. <laughs> Jeez. Um, I had to, uh, you know, at the end of that last video there, I realized that I forgot to uh, grab the Artemis cape from Gar. Uh, you know, Momo needs all the help that she can get uh, as far as accuracy goes, so uh, definitely... Definitely uh, needed that. Um, why does this look so goofy? Yeah, okay, well, whatever. Okay, um, let's uh, let's head up here first. Um, there's where is that item at? There it is. Back behind these hay bales here. It's got a skill link. Very handy. I actually just had to use one of those. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I moved around. A bunch of the abilities, uh, you know, en or, uh, yeah, enemy skills, however you want to say that, uh, and uh, and got myself kind of set up the way that, I, mean, I don't know if this will necessarily, <laughs> I don't know if this will be the exact way uh, that I've that I've got everybody set up for the the rest of the game by any means, but um, these three characters are set up pretty pretty well as far as the way I want them. Um, I always give uh, uh, actually let's just I'll just show you here how I've got these uh, these skills. Uh, so Momo, I've got with influence. Generally, that's that's always how I I set up. Again, I I actually use Momo really you know pretty much for the rest of the game, and um, and and Ray as well. And influence, obviously, or maybe not obviously, but influence is the skill that kind of allows you to control um, the Were Tiger. And um, the problem with putting influence on like Ryu is I think influence breaks when he transforms into a dragon. And so he is not a good person to use to try to control uh, Were Tiger. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, shield, um, again, you know, I use Momo as a buffer. And so shield, you know, obviously being able to, you know, throw out a defensive buff to all of the characters is very good. Uh, Benediction, you know, same deal. Like we can actually just revive uh, the other two in case they, were, they die. Uh, wall of fire is just a cheap uh, fire attack. Um, I'll be you know mostly using that in uh, in Mount Zublo. Uh, double blow not it not really important. I I don't think that that's actually a very good ability to have on her. Uh, and then snap and mind flay just to kind of do some debuffs. Uh, as of right now for Ryu here, I've got him with steel, uh, burn frost and typhoon. Um, I, it was funny. I remember reading. Uh, in a somebody like I think it was like a like a enemy skill guy like a guide right for all of the different uh, skills in the game, and uh, they were like oh well you know I don't use steel because you know uh, Ray has it but like why would you not want to have two people with the ability to steal for one thing uh, the this version of steel doesn't deal any damage, and so if you're trying to you know get something, um, and and unfortunately Ray can get to a point where he gets a little bit too strong. And he'll just kill things outright with uh, with his pilfer ability, and um, you know I don't want to do that. I when I want to steal things, I want to get them stolen and not just you know, you know I, I guess kill the enemy off. So, um, so it's, I, I think that having a steal on two characters is amazing. The the even you know here in a little bit, uh, I'll be able to to learn charm as well. And so usually how how my turns. Uh, roll out is I'll use charm on somebody like Momo and then I'll try to steal with Ryu and then steal with Rei as well and normally you know I'll have that item depending on what it is of course uh, stolen in that one turn so um, you know it, it just uh, like when it comes to like efficiency I, that's how I kind of like to set up um, burn frost and typhoon there just to cover some you know elemental bases and then Rei here has focus uh, Frost Strike, Flying Kick, uh, Purify, Blind, and Air Raid. Um, I don't know. Purify isn't honestly all that important on Ray because the other two have Purify. And I mean, look at Ryu. Ryu's got, you know, just insane amounts of AP at this point. So, um, all right. Anyways, that, and then, yeah, Blind and then Air Raid too. So Air Raid, you know, obviously also probably best on whatever character of yours is the fastest. Oops. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, you want to have that on on somebody that's got a really good agility stats because air raid doesn't really do you that much good if you are um, if you're too slow um, because basically it, it you know 
cancels uh, the, the the turn of whatever enemy you use it on, or has a chance to, I guess I should say. So, again, very, very useful on somebody that's quick. Um, so, yeah, so that's uh, how I am set up for the time being. Um, let's, uh, let's take a look here. So, ah, I know what this is. This is a relic from the Techno Age, and this number is the same as the one on that door, right? Uh, in other words, this is a key, a key from the Techno Age. If we input the password here, the doors with the same number will open. Does anyone want to try and guess the password? Without the password, we'll never be able to get those doors open. But usually people use something like a friend's name or whatever for their password. How about just password? <laughs> like palais or something. Maybe that's a little too obvious? <laughs> well, not too obvious, I guess. I don't believe it. It opened. Well, now we're getting somewhere. Come on, let's go. Okay. Um, so here is the the fly man and the the big bulb. Um, I think you can. Uh, uh, I think you can blind the the big bulb. Uh, I'm going to try to learn. Uh, what is it? Flame strike? Flame strike from the uh, th from the flyman. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, the flyman also has um, a flame spear, which is a weapon for Gar. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to uh, to get that, but we'll see. Oh, and I see I haven't equipped Ray. Oh, wait, what? What the heck? Oh, this is real. Jesus, I'm. Wow, that was that was something. There's a scale mail. Yoink. Well, Ray is actually my slowest character. That uh, mark that on the calendar. Uh, I'm sure that won't last for very long, but uh, that is actually very funny. Uh, and then I'm going to put the uh, the magma armor on him. All right, so the idea here is to uh, is to try to uh, learn flame strike, which can be, you know, a little annoying. But um, I think I may just cheese it here just to save us some time. Fire breath. Nope. Not that. There's flame strike. And Ryu learned flame strike. Okay. Um, so at this point, we'll just charge and finish this guy off. There we are. Almost levels up. Learned to raise the dead. Excellent. Okay. On to the next area. Uh, so there's a bunch of doors in this room and uh, you know most of them can't be opened yet because we don't have the passwords but this one is good all right Ooh. let's see what do we have here oh my um, so the uh, the giant roaches can teach us uh, douse in in this battle as well. I don't remember what the um, what the requirements what were, but um, yeah, keep that in mind. This is another potential spot to learn that. And it's scale mail just like that. Even with uh, Delonzo and the Artemis, uh, is it cap or cape? I always forget. Uh, even with those, Momo can still sometimes have, you know, misses. 
but I guess uh, I guess she had to have some weakness there, even though she hits like a ton of bricks. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Let's, let's purify. Oops, did I already check these? Nothing. There you go, ammonia. Okay. Well, at least there's something there. Uh, we don't have the second password yet, so we can't go up there. Or can't, can't go through there. But uh, down here uh, is a little timed area. And you have to uh, you have to make it to the whatever, the, where the password thing is, is, is at, uh, you know, quick. So it says the room is flooded with chrism radiation. Too much exposure is dangerous. You can't spend too much time here. Oops. Doesn't do me any good to uh, be up against the wall either. All right, so the item or the thing that we're looking for is is up here in this little, well, I don't know, what, the, what is this supposed to be? Like a, kind of like a garden, sort of? Uh, it says experimental sample Repsol seed. Maybe it's a password. That is indeed a password. And that's the only thing that's down here. And then they just kick you out, um, you know, after a certain amount of time. So uh, any more exposure would be dangerous when everyone left the room. Oh, instant kill. Suck it. <laughs> uh, that's that hidden dagger for you. Those things really are good. They're and it's really good on Nina. So you know, uh, Ryu, Ryu, the instant death effect. I mean, it, it's it's great, um, but Ryu is already you know pretty powerful, so he hits you know pretty hard. Whereas Nina uh, isn't very you know physically powerful, and so you can kind of make up for her you know lack of power with um, uh, with you know that instant kill effect. So uh, very very cool uh, weapon and those are actually viable uh, in the fairy village too so I think I got mine from actually a, a, an expedition but um, you know multiple multiple ways to get them and they are again very good okay so here's where we enter the repsol password let's see Password Repsol. Okay, it opened. I knew it. Repsol was that was my father's name. I guess that means he had something to do with this place. Maybe he was working on some kind of experiment. When I saw the machines here, I knew my father must have been involved somehow, but I never heard anything about this place. Could my father have done things here he was ashamed to tell me about? Maybe. I mean, he had a lot of adult magazines. I'm sure there was, you know, there was definitely some things that he was ashamed to talk about. <laughs> or he should have not kidding. I'm kidding. There's no, there's no Puritans around here. Um, all right, let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's keep knocking these guys down here. Do I really have blind on him? I do. Hmm. Well, you know what? Um, I actually don't know if it's it's blind necessarily. That uh, yeah, it's not blind. These guys actually function a little bit differently now that I'm thinking about it. I think it's the big bulb that just, um, anytime you hit him with a physical attack, they'll, they'll kind of like get buffed up. Oh, what, he ran away. Why'd he run away? Dang it. Well, well, I never. Yeah, so maybe, maybe blinding them isn't a good idea. But I could have swore that they had like a kind of, they kind of buffed up. And, and maybe I'm just completely thinking of the wrong enemy, but, um. Could have swore it was these guys that every time you hit them, um, they kind of get a you know like like a stat boost, and I think you can do it five times. Let me just let me check because I can't remember if it's these guys or not. Um, yeah, so I I just actually looked that up and and yeah I was right. Um, so it is it is those guys that um, 
uh, basically you know keep getting buffed up every time you use a physical attack on them and so it can be an interesting way to level um also you can blind them it's just that you need to uh apparently you need to hit them immediately after and then that will make them kind of stick around and not just run away so um, unfortunately i just wasn't able to get uh um you know a hit in there before he bailed on me uh, all right so silver mail um that's Honestly, just junk now, completely obsolete. I don't need, uh, I've got, uh, well, I don't know, maybe, maybe for somebody like Momo. No, I mean, I've got force armor. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Um, all right, anyway, so that is, uh, that door. Now we'll head into, uh, this one. And let's charge. Just like that. And what do we have in here? I think you need to throw this switch. I don't remember honestly what it does, but I'm fairly certain you actually need to go in there and, and do that. Um, what was oh that's right that's where the hint is at repair notes unit 3 out of order adjust pressure counter by plus 10 um, so that's kind of a hint that you need to uh, you know remember So add add ten to number three's pressure, basically. Um, what do we have here? Oops. All right, out this door. And um, as we go around the back side here to get this hint, uh, there's a memo on the floor. It says, gave the sample life if used with project double uh, A. Maybe it's a password. It is indeed a password. And um, up here, ah, geez. So here is, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best, genes in the entire game. So Ryu, here is the voice of the brood sealed in the chrism. You found the force gene. Uh, the force gene gives you the warrior form, and it is just amazing. Like I said, I think it's, in my opinion, it's the best, or one of, if not the best, genes in the game. I love that. I love this form. Um, yeah, so uh, that will that will be a very good time. And let's head on up top here. Hmm, weird. And okay, back to it. Um, speaking of things that are basically the best, uh, here are the sleep shells. I love the sleep shells. Um, well, you know, a little bit less damage here, but it induces sleep. Um, you know, this is one of those deals, though, where it's it's honestly better, actually, if Momo is the slowest character of all of your characters. Because, um, you know, the way that this is going to work, so Ryu will take his turn, and then Momo will take her turn... And then Ray will be last. And so what will end up happening is, you know, let's just say I use the charge command, right? Well, so Ryu will attack. Then Momo will attack and potentially put the enemy to sleep. And then Ray will just wake it up. So um, you really want to have Momo uh, have, uh, you know, honestly, less agility. 
Um, and for probably a couple of reasons, that actually also makes it so that it's easier to uh, control the wear tiger properly as well. You know, if you've got Ray taking his turn, uh, and and well, or sorry, again, the way that this plays out, right? The turn order will be Ryu will go, then Momo will go, then Ray, and um, you know, really, you know, that's going to mean that so Ryu will go, Momo will go, then Ray will turn into Wear Tiger, and then the following turn, that's when Momo will have to, um, you know, use an influence on Ray to to control Wear Tiger. And I just would rather have it all done in one turn. And so, again, mo you know, kind of multiple reasons, uh, for me anyway, and, and the way I'm set up here to, uh, you know, actually have Momo be the, the slower character of the, of the three here. So, yeah, all right, that is, uh, that's my stance on that. But I really do like the Sleep Shells. I think they're a great, uh, uh, great weapon. Forty-eight experience. All right. Um. Oh, yep, over here. All right. So it looks really complicated. Too complicated for you. Oh, yeah. My bad. I, uh, you always need to have Momo uh, in the lead in order to interact with these computers. Uh, let's see. Enter password. A A. Right. Uh, there, now there's only one left. I wonder, what does the AA project mean? Something to do with enhancing life? Like the enhanced crops? Uh, yeah. Or does it have to do with mutants? What was my father trying to do? At any rate, we better find direct Director Palais. He's the only one who can answer our questions. Indeed. Okay. So um, <clears throat> I'm trying to uh, steal from these guys to uh, to potentially make it so that when when they do, if they drop anything, it will be the flame spear. But I'm not honestly, it's not really that great of a of a time to. Uh, it, it's better to wait honestly to try to get that flame spear until I've got a charm. So um, you know I'll, what I'll do here is is actually after. Um, when is that going to be? Actually, no, I'm sorry. It it won't. It'll be a little while yet. I don't even think it'll be. It probably won't even be the next video. The next video is going to be Windia, I think. Um, so we're, we're, I'm a little ways off from actually, uh, you know, getting charm. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to charge here and not worry about worry about that. It's just, you know, way more efficient to farm for the Flame Spear if I've got charm. Uh, all right, so Unit 1 says its Chrism pre Pressure is 21. Uh, unit 2, Chrism Pressure 39. Unit 3, 18. Uh, you add 10 to this, though, so this is actually 28. So I think it's... Um, I think that actually ends up being the lowest. 21. No, okay, so it's it's 1, 3, 2, I believe. Well, as of right now, anyway. And then there's two more of these, I think, up top. Uh, nothing back here. Yep. Okay, ooh. Chrism gas is leaking out of the room. Could something be happening inside? Oh, I think that's that's very possible. Oh my, it's mutating. It's like he's got a little tongue there on his on his rear, and then there's the weird fuzzy puffball thing. 
that kind of looks like a plant. All right, so here's the huge slug. Uh, I'm going to steal from him, and let's... Hmm. The wall of fire. So uh, this is kind of like the mutant from The Dump, uh, where it's got uh, some sort of, like, regeneration, I think, that needs to be removed with uh, fire abilities. So we'll just, uh, yeah, hit him with that. Loses its protective coating. It's got some sort of slime coating. <laughs> Miss. Okay, um, I'm going to try to use speed here. We'll see if I can get some extra turns going. Uh, and I do want to try to steal too. I'm still not able to steal. Oh, not there's the extra turn. Vitamins. Okay, well, that's uh, that is not great. Um, <laughs> oh well. Uh, all right, so we'll use ascension here, and I am going to go with the uh, flame and force, and that should be good. So I'll keep the uh, the AP low. Uh, by going this route. I really need to look up Thorn again. Actually, I'm going to use this anyway, just for fun. Uh, I've got so much AP now that it just uh, honestly doesn't really matter. I can afford to, uh, you know, make a little bit of a, a stronger dragon. Uh, and then I'm going to use Were Tiger here as well. Like... War, or, uh, reuse like war cry whenever he uh, transforms now. Jeez, I guess Ray has a kind of a crazy uh, war cry there too when he transforms. Right, so um, usually what I do here is uh, use focus a couple of times uh, and then use aura. Uh, aura, you know, costs 10 AP. And so you really want to be buffed up um, before you use it, right? You don't want to just, you know, I don't know, use weak auras, right? Because, again, they're expensive. So um, better to uh, use focus a couple of times. Uh, let's also use speed on. Oops, I screwed up. Um, I haven't influenced the Were Tiger yet, so that was that was dumb. But oh, two thirty! I love it. God, he's strong. All right, so now I've used focus twice, so we'll use the aura. And boom! Oh my God! Yeah, that is why. Uh, the warrior is amazing. Alright, let's use influence here. Um, there it is. So that will force the were tiger to keep attacking the huge slug now for as long as Momo is alive. Uh, influence breaks if uh, if if the person that uses it dies. So kind of something to keep in mind. Crack! That's that. So good. 700 experience. Ray became level 22. Ray is well on his way to becoming an amazing caster. Uh, could it be this plant is being used to make mutants in some kind of experiment? Could Momo's father be involved somehow? Oh, I think that could be. A lot of theories going around about Momo's father. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see what the manual says over here. It's essential to line up the counters in order from the one with the lowest pressure up. <clears throat> Look at the counters and arrange them in order from lowest to highest. 
Could this be a hint for the last password? Yes, it bloody well may. Uh, unit four is pressure is 55 and unit five is 42. So I think that means it's one, three, two, five, four. Hopefully I've got that right. And then check this out. This is kind of funny. <laughs> Can grab the wisdom ring from the side. Doesn't really matter, but it's I think it's kind of funny. Alrighty. Oopsies. Let's head out here. Um was there any door threes anywhere else? Oh, there's a two. Yeah, here's the door three. Or was I already in here? No, I can't remember. Nothing! Oh yeah, there's nothing in here. That's funny. Yeah, completely a dead end. I suppose it's kind of a little hint, right? If you miss something down below. I don't know. Very strange. Oh, did somebody get poisoned? Somebody did get poisoned. This is kind of a roundabout way of, of getting back, but why not? Instant kill. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I don't. I actually don't think I. Uh, um, in in other uh, other times I've played, I don't think I've really used those hidden knives very much, and I'm not really sure why. But uh, please enter password. All right. So what did I say? Uh, one, three, two. No, that's close. I think it's one, three, two, five, four. So you go to the next page. Yeah, one, three, two, five, four, right there. There we go. <laughs> That's the last door. We should be able to find Palais now. I have a lot of questions for him to answer. Let's get a move on. If we don't, the door will close again. Right, anything here? Healing herb. Let's rest. Oh, that's funny. You can actually even save in here. There's no book though. Cheaters, cheaters! I tell you. All right, so let's head up here. There's door four. Zombie doctor. Boom. Get it. Get it, kid. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here's that uh, that chest we right I so cleverly opened early you know 30 seconds early <laughs> all right so here he is big bad pala he 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 soon mother soon i'll be able to revive you soon with this elixir i made using the mixture of chrism ore and yudrasil sap i'll be able to bring you back to life Truly a mad scientist. I tried hundreds of experiments to perfect this prof process. After all, we can't have you come back as some nasty mutant, now can we? He he he. Don't worry, mother. I'll make sure you don't look like some 
ugly onion or anything like that. Wow, shots fired at Pico. Wow, wow. Very unkind words. What? Who are you? Momo? We finally found you, Mr. Director. So you want to tell us what's going on here? What is this place? Why did you abandon the plant like that? What do you mean, Momo? I, I've been working on a new strain of enhanced crops. Sure, dog, sure. Liar! We heard you. Heard you talking about bringing your mother back from the dead. Who? What? I, I, I'm just my m m m mother. Your experiments. Where you use the chrism, they're responsible for the mutants, aren't they? Your experiments to bring your dead mother back to life. He's trying to explain very aggressively right now. Shut up. What do you know? What do you know? Why is it all right to use chrism to create new life with the enhanced crops, but not to give new life to my mother? Besides, it was your father, Repsol, who put this machinery together in the first place. Your father, he was the one who went to Yggdrasil and got the sap and put it in the machine, hoping to bring his dead wife back to life. What? It was a great discovery. We were able to use the essence of that good-for-nothing tree, Yggdrasil, with the chrism to give life. <laughs> good-for-nothing tree. Okay. And yet, and yet, that fool Repsol said it was against the laws of nature. That it was wrong and stopped the experiments. Why? What's wrong with it? Everyone who's lost a loved one wished they could come back. Ain't that the truth, brother? I won't quit now. I can't. Who cares what the tree says? Unnatural? What's unnatural about using the resources we've been given? Okay, Pallet. Or Pele is, uh, is seriously uh, winning me over to his side here. Hehehe, <laughs> you see this? This is what we extracted from Yggdrasil. The essence of consciousness itself. Oh, oh, he just drank it. Oh, boy. I'll now transform. I'll be able to protect my mother from anyone who'd harm us. Like you. Boah, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, okay. Okay, crazy. <sighs> yeah, look at this guy. Look at Brainiac over here. Okay. So here is Shroom. Uh, I think let's start out with a steel and... Um, I'm going to use a, use a Mind Flay. I don't think he's immune to psionics. And uh, he does have some... Um, you know, kind of, kind of like magical based attacks. I don't know if I can get this. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I can actually get him to uh, to get a little debuffed, but we'll see. Couldn't steal. There we go. I queued down. So that should uh, nerf his damage a little bit. There's the wisdom fruit. Alrighty. Um, well, now that I've done that, let's uh, do some ascension here. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll just do some repeated mind flays here. We'll try to get him nerfed down a little bit more even. It's, I remember, uh, I don't know if it was the last time I, I played the game, but I, I went through and, and kind of, you know, try to, try to find uh, fights like where I thought it would make sense to, you know, try some of the enemy skills that, um, 
yeah, I guess I wouldn't normally use, and I think this was one of them. It was the, oh, yeah, I guess this guy uses some magical abilities. Maybe let's use Mind Flay. <laughs> but, all right. Um, so we're going to do the, uh, the old focus. I could probably try speed. There's another focus. Yeah, let's... Uh, Oops, no, 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 we need to influence. There we go. Yes, sir. Snarf. All right, now we'll use the aura. Boom. Um, do, 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 do. what, what to do, what to do, what to do. I guess, I guess snap, why not, right? Lower the, lower his defense. If we're getting uh, mind flays to stick, then, you know, we should be able to lower his defense as well. Head cracker. Oof, oof, oof. Owie. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> so I, I brought his defense down, yet I did actually less damage? Hmm, okay. Boom. Hoppity hoop. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's got blitz. Oof. There we are. Not bad. That was, yeah, that was pretty easy. 1,300 experience. Hoppity hoop. So many times I've asked myself, what would it have been like if my father had lived? That's why. <sighs> Excuse me. Wow. But I don't know. Somehow I feel relieved just hearing that he wasn't able to continue the experiments. You know... I bet Palais' mother can't be happy being hooked up to machines like this. Right? Let's go. Four hundred zenny. All right. Um, so, uh, being the good person I am, uh, if this is turned off, the supply of chrism will stop and Pale's mother will finally be able to rest in peace. Let's pull the plug. There we are. Rest in peace, Pale's mother. Oh, wow. Got those those the ons are coming. going down oops overshot all right let's uh let's rest while the uh the rest is good <laughs> people say that people are saying that okay A great victory. Oh, look at there. Ray became level 23. HP, AP, intelligence. Wow. Not a, not a whole lot of other stats uh, for that level, but that's how it goes. Whoops. Uh, that is not the right ladder. All right. 
here we go. All right, so that was the the plant. Um, I will, uh, you know, end up coming back here in a little while anyway, uh, once I've got uh, the charm ability. And I'll probably try to farm up a, a flame spear. I don't know how, you know, good it is now or at this point, but why not? <clears throat> Wow, well, uh, Momo? Huh? What? <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you for your help, Momo. Uh, thanks to you, we were able to take care of the problem at the plant. Oh, that? Well, it looks like my father was involved with the plant, so I would have had to do something about it sooner or later. My father repaired that machine and was going to use it to try to bring my or try to and bring back my dead mother. That's a very oddly worded sentence. Uh, but he quit and started working on developing the enhanced crops. I wonder why did your father quit his experiments? I think it's because he realized there's nothing more unnatural, more wrong, than trying to bring the dead back to life. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. He loved machines, and he may not have known a lot about anything else. But he wasn't stupid. Well, anyway, thank you. Now Ryu can receive the king's forgiveness and travel to the eastern lands. I've been thinking... I'll probably go east with Ryu and the others. There's no point in staying at the plant, and I'd still like to see what kind of ship they had in Rapala. <laughs> okay, uh, that is going to be it for this one. Uh, as always, I hope the guide was helpful, and thank you for watching.